okay now see this equation we may call this equation as one see this equation it is the number of electrons on n side now these are majority carriers number of electrons on n side majority carriers so out of this n n only fraction of electrons which have energy greater than ev0 can cross the junction and give diffusion current hmm? out of these electrons only the fraction of electrons that have the energy greater than ev0 can cross the junction and give diffusion current so diffusion current due to electrons diffusion current due to electrons i will write here diffusion current due to electrons we notation is j small j e j means diffusion and e means due to electrons that is equal to a we take the constant it is proportional to number of electrons so a exponential minus eg minus ef by kt into probability that electron can cross the junction it is exponential minus ev0 by kt e v0 by kt okay we solve it eg minus ef minus eg ev0 if we i will show you in the diagram again hmm? see is it even see eg minus ef this is eg minus ef means this region plus ev0 that is e1 just before some time i have explained you hmm? so i will directly write here is equal to a exponential minus e1 by kt okay a exponential minus e1 see a exponential minus e1 by kt is it number of electrons on p side exponential minus e1 by kt this is your minus e1 this is your e1 it is difference between conduction band and fermi level this this is e1 and therefore it is number of electrons on p side number of electrons on p side it is the minority carriers and therefore it gives drift current so i will directly write it here as ie that is equal to ie now we got je equal to ie so diffusion current due to electrons is equal to drift current due to electrons and they are equal and opposite similarly we can write jh equal to ih so what we see here the diffusion current due to majority carriers and drift current due to minority carriers are equal and opposite and hence no net current flows through the junction no net current flows through the junction okay now if we apply some potential external potential to the junction what will happen that we see now okay so first we apply the reverse bias so what do you mean by reverse bias see this is the pn junction this is the pn junction now p type is connected to negative terminal of battery and n type connected to positive terminal of battery it is called reverse bias now p type is connected to negative terminal and therefore the energy levels on p side rises we can see here energy level on p side rises and energy level on n side drops and therefore we can see there is increase in potential barrier across the junction there is increase in potential barrier so again we will derive the formula for charge flow or diffusion current now electron concentration again we write the formula for electron concentration in conduction band on n side just i have we have seen that equation so i will directly write the equation that is equal to nc exponential minus eg minus ef by kt now eg minus ef eg minus ef we have seen it eg minus ef is equal to 
e1 minus ev0 just before some time we have seen you can reverse the video and again you can see that step eg minus ef is equal to e1 minus ev0 just before just in the video we have seen that hmm? so that is equal to nc exponential minus e1 minus ev0 by kt okay so this is the number of electrons this is the number of electrons so out of these electrons only the fraction of electrons have the energy this much energy can cross the junction and therefore the diffusion current equation for diffusion current i will write here j e is equal to a exponential a i will take constant as and uh, instead of nc some constant i will take minus e1 minus ev0 by kt into probability that electrons can cross a junction exponential minus ev0 plus ev by kt it is simple mathematics now it is very simple mathematics so if we solve it we get equal to a exponential minus e1 plus ev by kt minus e1 plus ev by kt a exponential minus e1 plus ev by kt now we know a exponential minus e1 by kt is i e just we have seen it is i e drift current due to electrons and therefore j e equal to expo i e exponential minus ev by kt okay now we know diffusion current and drift current are opposite their direction is opposite so total diffusion current or total current not total diffusion total current we call it as j that is equal to j e minus i e j e minus i e that is equal to j zero or uh, i we will take common i e exponential minus e v by k t minus one okay now when e v is greater than four k t when e v is greater than 4 kt this exponential term becomes negligible this exponential term becomes negligible this term becomes negligible as compared to 1 and we get j e equal to i e that is maximum value of drift current and we call it as a saturation current now if we consider the net current due to electron and hole if we consider the net current due to electron and hole so net current j is equal to j0 exponential minus ev by kt minus 1 where j0 is reverse saturation current where j0 is reverse saturation current this is the diode equation or this is the equation for current in reverse bias this is the equation for current in reverse bias now we see forward bias in forward bias p type semiconductor is connected to positive terminal of battery in forward bias p type semiconductor is connected to positive terminal of battery this is p type this is n type since p type is connected to positive terminal its energy level drops and n type rises and so there is decrease in potential barrier there is decrease in potential barrier and the equation for potential barrier is equation for current is j is equal to j0 exponential ev by kt minus 1 here we take v positive in forward bias we take the potential positive and so the equation we write exponential plus ev by kt minus 1 and the iv characteristics current voltage characteristics for diode are like this this is for forward bias this is for forward bias 
this region it is for forward bias and this is for reverse bias so this is the iv characteristics of pn junction thank you thank you very much